I had the honour of doing the 12 empowerments 10 years ago now. I didn't really know what I was stumbling into. I had no idea, actually. I, um, yeah, it was... Uh, I wasn't really in a particularly bad place. I wasn't really... Yeah, there wasn't something like overridingly bad that I was trying to fix, but yeah, definitely I was searching for something without a shadow of a doubt. And, and definitely there was a part of me that I did feel was broken that, um, that I thought I was going to find this like treasure bro box on top of a holy mountain and like open it and it'd be, ah, and there it was. And the last place I expected to find it was like, you know, sitting in rows of plastic chairs. Um, you know, listening to to just what appear as very conventional talks, but actually this is like the most magical spaceship that I've ever had the pleasure to tour the planet on, actually. And um, yeah, I, it's it's interesting to try and condense 10 years of my life and kind of like share that with some of you that I do know and some of you that I don't. But um, I can just start with a, a few examples. So I live in Bristol and Bristol has a a balanced view community about this size here. And it's uh, amazing to be in my hometown and just to be walking about on the streets and meet friends and people relying on open intelligence and see actually what that's done is that actually, it's actually changed the entire city of Bristol. Uh, I can see that because I've been in Bristol so long and I can just see how much a small dedicated group of people, how much that can change somewhere, how much just in Arundel, what the shopkeepers often say to me, they're like, man, when Balance View packs up, like Goa's kind of done. And it's funny, you just, just like, you know, one person in a queue, not shouting at the person in, you know, for having to queue or complaining or anything like that, just one person makes such a difference. And that's what really Candice and the training really introduced me to that we can all make such a vast difference and it doesn't have to be in ways that we've been led to believe just by me not basically shouting at my dad when he's telling me that I should be doing this and then I'm telling him he should be doing this this is actually like a ginormous contribution to the benefit of planet earth for years I've been engaged in some amazing projects uh, with helping my local community and stuff like that and they're things I'm very passionate about and enjoy but Subtly in doing these these tasks, I was missing a self love to myself and just to yeah, just getting on with like my brother and 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 these these everyday relationships. So um, yeah, what I'm very grateful for the training to do is to bring everyone back to like the source. Like you're never going to save the planet if you can't have dinner with your dad without getting into an argument. That's the way I see it anyway. And for me, it's really amazing to bring things back to basics because. It's clear everyone right here, right now, there's a very special thing going on on planet Earth right now. There's, you turn on the TV, it's like, ah! You turn on the Facebook, it's like, whoa! You just, you know, it's clear that there's a lot of stuff going on that we all knew as children wasn't the way it should be. You know, from a very young age, I remember thinking, wow, the world is an interesting place, but there's things going on that I don't, I don't feel and I know that aren't okay whether it's wars or famine, and um, all the solutions are here. And again, it's great to be brought back to a training where it's not about, let's look at the problem, let's talk about the problem. It's like, solution, where's it at? You know, last year I turned up with my girlfriend uh, to the center and basically there's like a giant fire going on outside. Like, and when I say giant, I'm not like talking like, it's like acres of land are on fire and everyone's here with buckets running about putting the fire out. And, uh, in those kind of situations, there would have been something that used to unnerve me. Actually, I feel like almost strangely relaxed in these situations. And there we were just smiling, just getting buckets, like, all right, there's a bit of fire there. And you know, there's no need to panic and indulge the situation. It's like, a, and yeah, and I think, I, and, I, and I don't think, I know I definitely did before I'd done the empowerments, before I'd been introduced to a community of people that I can turn up feeling as upset or as weird or I don't want to talk to anyone. No one's like, oh, are you all right? What's wrong? Should we talk about it? Should we stir that pot? It's very powerful to be with a group of people who just allow you to be as you are. And um, yeah, that's where I see that this training really is just light years ahead of all the other magical, fun trainings that I've done in the past that were brilliant, that really, they really did try and help me. But unfortunately, it's like, 
yeah, you know, it's like comparing the cassette tape computer games I used to play on to like, you know, these mobile information systems that we've got that can give us all the knowledge that we've got right now. You know, they're, they're just total leagues ahead in it. And it really, I just, you know, I, I, I bow down to Candice each and every time for, for managing to bring it to the whole world in a way that it, it, it basically addresses every single tribe on the planet from whatever your background, whatever your, there's many things that I've enjoyed in the past that if I came, I brought my mum to, she'd be like, what the hell is going on? But my mum, as much as she personally hasn't done the trainings, she really, yeah, she revels in the benefits of them. And my brother's done the empowerments, my girlfriend's done the empowerments. The two bands that I toured with for the last five years have all done the empowerments. And, you know, touring with a band is crazy. <laughs> like last year, there was like uh, 12 of us getting on a train across India with all our instruments, like about, I don't know, 200 kilos of luggage. And that's a recipe for like a total disaster, but I can't tell you how much fun we had, but it's amazing when we can all relate to each other in a way that for sure it might be going mad inside and it's all going mad here, but you don't use that as your reference point for how you relate to the world. And I see now that, yeah, I, I'm, I feel like it's actually, it's far out. I feel just because of the training, I have a, an operating software inside me that's so, so more advanced in what my, in what I was trying to, the place I was trying to come from. And I could only, and as much as I like to think I could have found that on my own, it was the 12 empowerments that really crack it. It really, yeah, it's, it's, it's literally like, you know, cracking open a really hard nut. <laughs> and I was a hard nut and it broke open and it was like, wow, this is, this is me. These are the things that, yeah, unbeknown to me really have been holding me back very powerfully and very subtly for my whole life. And um, yeah, it's nice to have that space of 12 days, even though I was like, 12 days, man, I'm too busy. I've got too much to do, 12 days, no way. And hats off to the trainers there. Adrian was one of the trainers there. And yeah, I wasn't exactly like, I don't know. I was a bit of a young punk, I think, is a polite explanation of what I was. I was questioning a lot and trying to argue with the trainers, going, no, I know better, no, it's not like this, surely. And it was amazing that they allowed me to, to be like that and actually see that I was basically just, like uh, someone used a description of, uh, at our house we have these mirrored windows and the birds come and sort of bang against them. But that was very much what I used to do with my life. I was just smacking my head against myself really and not realizing it, thinking it was something external, but it was, it was my limiting data streams that, yeah, that were limiting me. And you know, I'm gonna be very honest with you, in 10 years of the training, it's not all gone. Like there, of course there's stuff that maybe, that, that definitely gets me still about myself and the planet and, uh, and you know what? That is okay. <laughs> you know, for, uh, I presume that you'd get to a point when you train something that, yeah, you'd have total mastery and there'd be, there would be nothing. It'd just be like, yeah, yeah, you know, fluffy bunny rabbits and marshmallows all the time in the head. But it's, it's great to see that that's not actually it. And the thing is, again, if it wasn't for Candice to, to, to illustrate that it's the open intelligence and the data that come together, and that's really what that crucial juncture is where the power's at. You know, a steam engine, you have to throw all this black coal inside the engine and then there's all this heat which is burning and fire and then that's what drives it forward and helps it move. And uh, yeah, it took me a very long time to allow myself to just, yeah, relax into that reality because that is the, the reality of, of this planet. And the more we can, yeah, allow ourselves to be as we are, stop fighting the data and just, uh, allow it to actually fuel you, you know? Um, money's been something that's always been a tricky uh, thing for me. And then, yeah, I'm now running a little business with a friend from the community and it's been going really well. It's meant a diff very different schedule I've got in Goa this year, but yeah, it's been exciting and it's great the way we can support each other. And yeah, and it's great that we've also got support from Balanced View because when you've done the empowerments, you have a trainer to go to, which means basically this setting you have every day where you can ask a question to the, trainer you actually have in everyday life via email contact and again it took me a while to open up to my trainer that was like there's no way I'm telling him that there's that's just for like me to know or and it's great to have someone that just cares about me that just reflects back 
yeah, that everything's okay, which I still find strange. I'm like, surely there's a big problem here that needs to be really like, you know, addressed. And, and my trainer Jochen is just like, no man, it's cool, it's cool. 